and welcome to this tutorial brought to you again by Photoshop Beginners and um, what we're going to be looking at today is how we can make these kind of photo realistic puddles that you see on the street in the photograph on the screen so first of all we're going to import this original image and you can download this from just underneath the uh, tutorial and the first thing we're going to do we're just going to make a copy of that original A and we do that by pressing Control and J like that. Then what we're going to do, we're going to select the pen tool. Now you could do this next bit with the lasso tool. There's only a few moves on the pen tool to do it that way and there's a couple of very straight lines in it so it's probably easier with the pen tool. So if you start from here where the curb sort of meets the edge and then go up to the horizon of the street straight across there straight back down the other side keeping underneath the curb level and then just join them up over here with a couple of clicks okay so make your selection and then next on this same layer we're going to put a layer mask okay next thing we're going to do we're going to unlink the layer mask and the background image and it's this little paper clip looking sort of symbol here click on that then click on the image itself and then if we go to edit transform flip vertical and you can see it almost looks like the whole street's been flooded out now and it doesn't quite line up what we need to do is get the move tool from the top of the tools and just drag that down to the horizon levels meet where these just here perfect right next if we click on the layer mask holding down control so you've got this selection that you see on the screen now go back to the original layer press control and J and what we're doing we're making a copy just of the street area the original street area now next what we're gonna do click on the on the top layer the one with the mask on it drag that layer down underneath the new one and we look back to the original picture now comes the fun bit if you click on your eraser tool get yourself a sort of soft brush and what we can do now just click on that top level and we can start to paint these puddles in like this all right we can play around with that for a little while all right after sort of brushing in a a little bit more here and a couple of little touches across here and and ended up with something like this now the thing is with this picture now what doesn't really look correct is the fact that something like this phone box that you see here it's gonna have a reflection all of its own so what we can do about that if we go back to the layer with the original image on choose this masking tool down here click on that make sure that paintbrush is selected there and then you can see we can sort of paint a mask over the phone box like this okay click off the masking tool there and then go to select inverse and then press control and J and now what we've got here is a copy just of the phone box itself flip that edit transform and flip vertical again and then what we're gonna do we're gonna drag this layer above the one with the mask pull that down till the two meet here hold control and click on the mask go select and inverse again and press delete and there you go and then what you can do you maybe make a little copy of this um, sort of a, a advertisement board or whatever it is and do a similar sort of thing with that but I mean that's pretty much it there you go the finished article thanks for joining us again on this tutorial and don't forget to check us out at photoshopbeginners.blogspot.com